Hi friends. Today we will see how to change the name of a database using a tool new dbid. This tool is available from the uh, previous versions like uh, um, uh, version 9, 8, 9, 9i, 10g and 11g and, and it has been improved in 11g also. So with the uh, this db new dbid tool we can do three things. One change the name of the database only okay second change the db id of the database database alone or the third option is that change both that is change the name and db id of a database okay so let's see um, in uh, first session or um, uh, 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 um, let's see how to change the name of the database okay so let me connect it to the lab so here i am already connected to a database that is select name from v dollar database the name of the database is clone db so the one of the other method uh, of uh, changing the name of the database is by recreating the control file now uh, we will we'll take uh, we'll uh, see how to change the name of the database by recreating the control file uh, in another session today we will see how to change the name of the database using the uh, new dbid utility okay so the name of the database is uh, uh, clone db and we are going to use the utility nid okay so nid is a utility um, so if you observe the the values that is available for nid you can see that the target username and password so we have to give the username and password so here it also mandated that we should set our environmental variables and we should connect it to the database or for which you wanted to change the name or dbid the, uh, like uh, using the operate system authentication we should not be connecting using the um, tns authentication which is not recommended okay so here i am have set up like um, say um, you can see that the target is the username and password and db name is the new database name okay and if you wanted the output to be a log file you can um, redirect log file and if you wanted to like some changes are uh, failed or, or suppose if you are planning to change the name of the database and it's changed and if you want to revert that um, activity then you can use the revert option set name is going to set like um, if the value is yes for set name then it is going to change the name of the database alone and if you wanted to append to the log file you can use the append option so in our intention is that um, we wanted to change the name only so here that in that case the set name is important otherwise what happens is then default it will not change the name for example if you invoke the nid without the, the set name keyword then by default it will be changing the dbid only okay if you wanted to change only the name of the database not the dbid then you should use the set name equal to yes so before that we will be um, finding the dbid of the database select dbid from v dollar database so let's um, keep it in a notepad uh, so as per our exercise after changing we are we are planning to change only the name of the database so the db id the um, uh, unique identification number of the database is not going to change hope uh, the steps are clear now let's so we'll do one thing like uh, we have the name like a clone db we'll change that name to target db okay so nid before that let me echo my oracle sid okay it's clone db now nid target equal to clone oh sorry um, target is equal to sys so target should be a user who got the sysdb privilege slash oracle and then 
what is the other keyword that's database this is a new database name I want to change to target DB but uh, target DB it's going to cross the number of characters allowed for a database so I'll do targ Dark DB and set name equal to yes. Okay. Let's execute. And also, like we wanted the log file uh, to be created, right? So we'll create nid dot log. So the log file will be a log file called nid dot log will be created on the current working directory. Okay, so here say that it is a parameter error. So um, maybe something typo. It should be DB name. It's not the database name. It is DB name. Target. Okay, fine. Let's execute it. Let's open the log file. Okay, one more th uh, one more mistake is that um, this access. Uh, let's see what is showing. Okay, here we got our message that is database should not be open for this access or whenever you are changing the uh, name of the database or the ID using the DB ID the database should be in the mount stage so let's shut down the database cleanly start it up and then issue the command startup mount and also another uh, thing another um, um, activity to be taken care is that we have to change the DB name on our parameter file so in case if you are using an SP file create a P file so that we'll be able to change the DB name after this uh, activity SP P file. My database is using a, a SP file. So what I'll do that I'll create P file from SP file. So that after this access it will be easier for me to change the name of the database and then restart the uh, database so because after the in the in the current database name say show parameter db underscore name is clone db sorry parameter is clone db this this has to be reset uh, this we are going to change it to targ db so once that is name is changed in the parameter file we have to uh, rename this file okay so the database is the mount stage now we are good to uh, start our access so clear let's explain an id target equal to slash oracle leave name equal to target db set name equal to yes and log file equal to nid dot log now this time this is taking more time so which it, which in, it's another indication that the process should, will be success let's open the nid dot log and see okay so here now we are if you are going through that one what are the things are changing if you if you analyze it has connected to the database right and then the control file it has changed the control file uh, you can see that it identifies the control file or there are two control files are there one is under the normal uh, database directory second is in the uh, flash recovery area so it is changing the 
control uh, the name of the database in the control file and you can see that it has changed in all the data files okay it says that and finally it gives um, it has shut down the database and uh, the name is changed to targdb modify the parameter file fine now we'll do one thing we'll go to our oracle home before that i will find out whether the instance is up instance is down so let's go to our oracle home slash dbs directory there we have the parameter file which we um, created now so cp init to clone db dot over it to okay the mm, there are two things one is that we can if you want we have to change the instance name also so better we will change the instance name as well init targ db dot over vi init okay there wherever the keyword clone db is used we will be replacing with the targ db one comma dollar substitute we need, we don't have to change the entire thing but we may have to So we can ignore actually. These are not required. I'm just removing that because my intention is to just bring up the database. I want to basically change only two things. One is that my DB name. This should be. Targ, targ db, and uh, there is one more thing which I need to change is the instance name. I could not see the instance name, so what I'll do that I'll be giving an entry instance underscore name equal to dark db. Okay, save this. Open the init tab file. etc slash init tab dot or sorry or a tab file. etc slash or a tab escape one y y p dark d b let's start it Set read the uh, parameter file which we changed, and uh, database is mounted. Let's see whether it's opening the database. It 
database is opened. Okay. Now let's clear the screen. Select name db id instance underscore name from v dollar database comma v dollar instance. Okay. So the name of the database is targdb, instance name is targdb and the dbid. Now let's cross check the dbid value uh, with the one which we stored earlier. The one which we stored earlier was 88896761. So from this it's clear that after the uh, by uh, changing the name uh, uh, name of the database using the dbid the uh, sorry using the new uh, uh, db edit tool or an edit tool the db id is not changing but that's because we have executed the um, nid tool or new db edit tool with the set name equal to yes but if you have uh, not given then it would have been changed the db id next session um, x says we will be see how to change the db id using nid tool hope this is clear thank you